to Lou, he beat, he beat Toby, right? Mm. Now you, you get as much way, 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 you think he's doing his farm in Yoshobu or Gomu mm -hmm. No way. This fellow is from Gombe State, mm -hmm. up North Nigeria. By the way, what gave it boldness to go set up in the North Korea there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was born and bred in the North Korea. So. Oh, <laughs> okay. So that's why it's at home there. Yeah. And I just went to Castina, not uh, last weekend I'm going to Kano. But the weather is really, it's cold at the same time, absolutely hot and so dry. Mm -hmm. So he brought all the advantage there and he has the merit to suit. Because he told me that as of now, sometimes when the temperature goes down to 18 degrees, mm -hmm. Whoa! Mm -hmm. And then he has a maverick way of uh, trying to flow through water from his well that is still warm right inside, <laughs> right inside the bowl. And then uh, it, it gives you warm water all through, right? Just to save. Now he's a guru in single interruption, off not there. Uh, I don't know if, I, I don't think I've had the time to for him to show you his farm one of these days, but I think I'm going to show you so that all those in that hot day can actually make purchases for me. He had a very unique, um, unique action, looking almost like the Iranian. A fish, the Iranian fish farm, no, the Iraqi fish farm that I posted that time. The only difference is that he's tackling for his own. Why did that guy use the patch, uh, patch farm for his own to offset the heat from the, the desert in, in Iraq? So I'll give you a post when I post the video. But he's there in Lagos now, having to buy something for one of his clients, you know. Lagos is the show place, close to the port, so he's come all the way to help the customer. And I said, let me pay homage to Mr. Fish here. Yeah. And I said, okay, it's good for him to just share what my sister is about to explain to my children and say. And I keep telling him, say, years ago, it's a bunch of others. But now, a few things are happening that's giving him some concerns. So, what you experience? Like, you said, uh, in the early days, your fishes were like, what is going <laughs> Like, when I began fingerlings production in the year 2006, I realized that then the fish were so hardy, the fries. Because I really remember I could just cook catfish, the fries, yeah. let's say maybe five day old fry. Yeah. I could scoop it with a net without water and transfer it to another pond. And <laughs> oh, yeah. it. But if I try that <laughs> now, we find that uh, there will be mortality. Weak. Yeah, there will be weak. Over stress. Yeah, that stress and the rest. Oh. Honestly, I think we really need to we really need to get maybe a new strain of brute stock. A new stream of yes. boost talk. Right. Hmm. Did you hear what I said? A new stream of boost talk. Now, over the years, now in the past five years, five years, you've seen a lot of uh, maverick methodology to manage the agebotters. You know what I mean by agebotter? <laughs> well, somebody will interpret that for us in the comment section. You know, the uh, I don't want to use, I don't want to say mulatto. You know, you're neither black nor white. You're not as strong as the African man, and yet you are not as be careful <laughs> stronger as a white fellow you know you're just in between now what that means is that well i'm just trying to use an an, an anecdote you know to show that uh, over the years uh inbreeding i thought that's the right word yeah inbreeding has led to certain uh transfer characteristics the positive ones are there but it's more of the negative ones, and that's the reason why we human species, the most happy, were told not to marry a most yeah. In fact, it's called incest, and it's even jailable offense. I don't know is there any country that is not a jailable offense. Mm -hmm. I know some people don't even go to their some married cousins here. It's permitted in some places, mm -hmm. but that's the farthest anybody can go. But think about having anything to do with your sister. Mm -hmm. You go to jail for life. So it's the same thing, so that you don't uh, transfer a diabetic tendency or some tendency or some diseases to your to your family members. Mm -hmm. I know that used to happen in some families in Europe where they have this thing they call pedophilia. Where once a person has a cut, a child has a clot on the body, it will refuse to yeah. to, to, to clot. It, as a cut, it will refuse to clot. And I think the, the disease ended up the last set of people ever had it was real family because they are the only ones that can take care of that. <laughs> but then because you know Rhea wants to marry Rhea, that kind of thing. But the whole world has stopped that, but we have it happening in catfish. I know a few folks who brought in parent stock years back, right? Because a lot of things to bring in parent stocks, like you're ordering a pelleting machine. Mm -hmm. The thing is cheaper there in, in Asia, but then the cost of bringing it in freight. And the same thing with when you're bringing a big fish, uh, a brew stock. Now, you're going to put in plenty of water. 
and then we look at what cost to buy a fish. Maybe you couldn't get it for probably about uh, four thousand naira here. By the time it's coming, this fish is coming at about seventy-five thousand. So, and you're bringing about ten, one million for ten pieces of fish. That's grand. You can even have mortality. So, only a few big guys are thinking of doing that. Who are really determined? And if you just mention four, I, I, four. I'm not mentioning now. One company started with C. One is an Uber. Then there's one in uh, Abuja too. We did that. The four that I know of, but that's what we've been using for the past almost ten years now. Mm-hmm. It's time for something new. But all of them still brought the same fish we call the Dutch Clarence that was actually taken by the uh, is it the Boers or there about in South Africa when apartheid finished, we went back to uh, Netherlands, and then that's why Netherlands is based on our catfish production, African catfish production. In fact, that's why they call it Dutch Clarence. Dutch is what you use for Netherlands people, right? So why are we talking about Dutch Clarence? Mm-hmm. In Ijebo, they, mm-hmm. that's funny. That's the origin of that name, mm-hmm. right? Now, before the Dutch, 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 based on Dutch, so we need something new. Now, I'm going to give a hint. I'm planning by next year, everybody's going to smile. Because I've done the research in that regard. And I've seen how there's nothing new under the sun. So the countries in Asia, how they resolve it. South America, how they resolve it. What they do is to bring a very close fishy, you know, soft fishy at the, uh, at the soft fishy level. Not even generic level, soft fishy level. To mix with the new one and then bring the character of this together with the character of that. Yeah, I'll give an example. An example is the boom that started in uh, Vietnam. Now, the boom started in 1982, when the early 80s, when they exported the African sharp to catfish. Are you getting me? I think from Central Africa, I think Congo, Cameroon, and then perhaps some parts of Nigeria, into that place. Their own fish is small. Are you getting me? But because ours is bigger, stronger, elder, when they mix it up, Boom! You know, this is really, this is really chap. Are you getting me? We're not going to think of bringing that back again, or if you're back to square one in the year. So I've thought of, oh, which place is neat and plain that's not been influenced by our own fish that will now bring it in here, and then everybody's going to smile. And I'm going to start with you too. I will select a few solid proteges, and then, but mind you, we're all going to be patient for eight months. From the private March next year, we're all patient till about November and keep managing ourselves. Why we won't do that? Because I'm not going to bring adult fish. It's going to be expensive. Or somebody wants to sponsor, we open a donation box and then people bring in money that we cannot bring adults, so we don't have to wait for eight months. But in the absence of that, I'm going to bring in fingerlings and I'll give you some, give some key folks some, and then we'll all grow it in about uh, eight months or nine months. I think that's safer. Because the cost of bringing about a thousand fingerlings. Maybe 2,000 fingers is what's going to make you bring just one pair of stones. So that's how, except some, maybe I'll raise it at the Congress tomorrow and then see if people will be ready. Then, okay, you cannot go ahead. And when it comes, divide. And then now meet it with your stuff, which are the bottom. And then, before you know it, we are hungry. Time that will really resolve a lot of, a lot of hazard. Is that okay? And I think uh, that will really do a lot. But for now, everybody is. We're using what they call environmental factors, the food factor, like uh, make sure your water's pH is okay, make sure your temperature is right, make sure that your water is uh, energized, right, like spring water, then make sure you're ready water to prevent uh, what do you call it? Uh, contamination in the water, right? You are using uh, UV light to, to kill some germs to make your water is big. Some folks are using ozone, yeah, some are using uh, what's it called, anything racing for fire for removal and coke. All those are still trying to make so the environment comfortable for the idea, but I use this all those stuff, right? <laughs> to, to prevent con- contamination. But all those are still aesthetics. By the time the local champion arrives, you know, which is a mix right now, I think we get back to reset mode. Just like a telephone is bought, and then you go to the telephone office. Can you give me an example? I don't remember. Uh, uh, which of, uh, go to which of these popular ones in Kenya? <laughs> you know? Is this swap or one of these names and co? Then you go there where you bought it from one of the big stores, telephone store. Flash, you right? Do, uh, flash, mm-hmm. flashing. Oh, you do, ah, they call it flashing. When you flash, your phone, you feel bad that you've been sent back for some time. But then your phone, your phone has speed. Can record more things and all that stuff. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to have what they call 
catfish reset. Well, 2021 will be the year of catfish, uh, uh, what do you call it? Catfish production reset. <laughs> catfish production reset in the year. I think I would have mentioned that. That would be a revolution. Okay. <laughs> a new revolution. And three things will be added to the revolution so that this post corona thing will be a boom for all of us all. Pengasius will be added to it. Cap is going to be added to it. Right? And then heterotis. That's been official alone. So we're going to have a real bumper here next year. So what's your comment about that? Yeah. Are you are you excited? I'm excited about, think about it. This about the app. Yeah. <laughs> no, sure because our Greek is the thing that everybody is talking about now. Mm -hmm. We need new things to make things happen. Right. Now you say something about uh, uh, about an innovative way you feed your your, your fish. Yeah. We'll talk about that at the next uh, discussion.